he had had a stroke, and we thought he was just about gone. His condition was that he couldn't move. We were afraid he was going to be that way for the rest of his time. There was no life in him. It was You could just see the depression. Luckily, they did some research and decided on Burke. We're going to try music therapy. He was like, huh? <laughs> music? <laughs> Neurologic music therapy is the use of music, specifically neurorehabilitation at Burke, but it's a set of standardized interventions based off of years and decades of neuroscience research and how the brain uh, can be affected by music and help in neuro recovery. So I've been a fan of neuromusic therapy for a long time, ever since working with Brian Harris, who at the time was an intern for neuromusic therapy at Spalding and we would work together and I could see the difference that he was making and he knew he was making an incredible difference in the lives of these patients. I've always loved music. I loved the idea that music could be used to help people. And the very first music therapy session that I ever witnessed was with an 18-year-old boy that was functioning at about a one-year-old level, physically and cognitively. So he was wheelchair-bound, unable to walk, nonverbal. And within the first 10 minutes, of live music being presented to this boy from this music therapist. He began to cognitively function at a higher level than what anybody had seen in his life. So his family was in the room, the people that worked with him every day came in the room, and they were literally in tears because they couldn't believe how this boy was functioning in response to the music. And it was that singular moment that changed my life, that I said that this is my calling in life and I need to be using music in this way. But then also if we could really understand why that was possible, for this boy to respond that way to music, that's when we could really harness the power of music and replicate it to help a lot of people. NMT is neuromusic therapy. Any patient with any neurological diagnosis benefits, but here at Burke, the patients that receive it most are those with stroke and brain injury. Music is one of the only stimulus that we know of that activates both the left and the right hemisphere. We really use that widespread activation to help recruit other parts of the brain to help with the brain function and just the rest of the body functions as well. We know from functional MRIs and different scans that music truly lights up all of the different parts of the brain. So after a person has had a neurological injury or illness, and parts of the brain are compromised, we need to tap into whatever resources are there. But music just reaches these parts of the brain that we might not be able to tap into otherwise. So when you pair music with the traditional therapies, you're able to accomplish those non-music goals it's just that music is the vehicle to get there. We do it for gait, we do for upper extremity, and speech and language, and also cognition-wise, with a lot of memory, attention, executive functioning, all of that. His condition before he came in was abysmal. Uh, he could not use his hand, he could not walk. Jean is a, was a great patient to work with. Um, one of our nurse managers came up to me in the hall and said, you have to see this guy. He's, he's had a stroke and he's, his walking is difficult. He doesn't have much speech at all. And I said, this sounds like my kind of guy to work with. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Towards the end, I will say, of his stay here, that's when I kind of was like, yeah, my dad's back. He's coming back, you know? And I mean, it, it wasn't only Vanessa, it was like every program that he was in, you could see a little something, but I believe that she started that with the music. I guess I saw him over a year post. He recognized all of us, which is something that you don't see very often, and he was, he was able to have a conversations and, and talk about his time here, and it was just, it was very heartwarming, and it was great to see him moving around without a device you know, talking, being with his family. I don't want to say it's magic because it's science, but sometimes it really does look like magic. Oh, you're a little nervous. <laughs> Take a breath out. We're going to do that again, yes. okay? <laughs> I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. 
one of the big uh, phrases I do for almost every patient if they can't say it is I love you because being able to, to say that is, is something that I think is really important. I love you. I love you. There it is. It's okay, we'll do it together. <laughs> I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. Last time? I love you. Perfect. Gorgeous. Well, I think what makes Bed Rhythms unique uh, is not only just the, the type of care that we provide. We provide very specialized care in neurologic music therapy, but also the way in which we administer it. We have a team of clinicians and a team of non-clinicians as well who are really, really focused and committed to patient care and really committed to changing patients' lives in a positive way. I am very grateful and lucky. And the amount of appreciation that I have for this company, how it has changed my life. No words can express that. They were the platform or the bridge that connected me with the patients that I am treating today. In the two weeks since he has arrived, it has been nothing short of amazing how much farther he's come along and I have hope and I'm crying a lot less at night because I have, or I'm crying happier tears because I feel like there's really a lot of hope here that he can have a life of quality and we can continue to do the things that we want to do. There's no other place like this place. It's really remarkable. Neuromusic therapy, unfortunately, is not a standard of care yet, although it should be. So there's a lot of reasons why it's not in every hospital. One, it's really hard to find qualified neuromusic therapists who are both musically talented and neuro rehab professionals. Two, it costs money to start a program like this and it is not something that is insurance reimbursed. So it requires the hospital to make, you know, make that happen through donations and other and other sources of funding. So we're honestly very, very lucky here to be at a place where administration has been supportive of this and then we've been able to get the support to keep it going. I thought I was gonna lose my dad. My dad yeah. is my best friend and it was very scary for me but you know the progression is good. Every day he does something new he tries very hard to get back and every day he says the same thing I'm gonna get back I'm gonna get back and I'm like yeah you are because you believe you are you're gonna do it I love you so much I love you too <laughs> oh, <big. laughs> 97 percent of the human population regardless of age culture, ability, or disability, all respond the same to music objectively. And there's no other stimulus on earth that engages our brain like music does.